There is an absolute war going on in the comments section anywhere on social media that the brand new Morimoto 4 Banger has been posted. In this video, we're going to find out once and for all which one is best, the Dial Dynamics SS3 Max or the brand new 4 Banger HXB. Before we begin, let's be clear, the most popular pot light out there is a white wide. About 85-90% of the people out there want the white wide version. You can also do amber, but that wide beam pattern is where it's at. So that's what we're testing today. The Morimoto 4 Banger HXB and the Dynamics SS3 Max. If you want to see how the other ones stacked up to the Dynamics SS3 with a combo beam pattern and a spot beam pattern, watch the video where Chris does a full on review of the Morimoto 4 Banger. So how do both of these pot lights stack up? Morimoto is launching the 4Banger and it intends to take on the entire off-road market head-on. Dynamics has some of the most loyal customers and enthusiasts out there, so it's no surprise that they are taking up arms to point out all the ways Dynamics SS3 is better than the new Morimoto 4Banger. Here at Headlight Revolution, we sell LED pod lights from all of these brands and then some. Since everyone seems to be focusing on these two the most, I want to show you what I'm seeing firsthand in our studio. The cool thing about these LED pods is that they have vehicle-specific fitment applications for fog lights. You can mount them in both your A-pillar, flush in a bumper, and in custom adapter brackets to replace your stock fog lights. This is one of the coolest and most important features when it comes to these two products versus all the others out there. The Dial Dynamics SS3 pods come in at five different beam patterns. Combo, Flood, SAE Driving, SAE Fog, and Spot. The beam pattern we would suggest using in your fogs is in fact their SAE Fog. This is a very wide beam that is not very tall. The Morimoto 4 Banger pods come in three different patterns, combo, wide, and spot. In a fog light application, the Morimoto wide beam pattern is the obvious choice. In this test, we'll be comparing the Dial Dynamics SS3 Max LED pod and their SAE Fog beam pattern, and the Morimoto 4 Banger HXB in their wide beam pattern. These are both brands' top tier, brightest option in the type of beam. They aren't identical beams, but when comparing the best fog light patterns, this is it. When you specifically stack both of these pod lights side by side, they both use swappable lenses, they both use that high efficiency TIR optics in the lens. Morimoto 4 Banger gets their parts from China and is assembled in China, whereas Dow Dynamics gets their parts from China and then assembles them in America. The Morimoto 4 Banger has a limited lifetime warranty, which basically means lifetime warranty for any normal defects, but not covered if you bash them into a tree. The Dow Dynamics SS3 has a warranty of eight years. Enough of the nerd talk, let's have some fun. We're gonna power these up. What I'm gonna use is this power supply underneath this table. I'm going to do one at a time. The table is pulled back from a wall right on the other side of this camera, 25 feet. We're going to use this laser measurement to make sure we are accurate every time. We're then going to mark on the wall the top of that beam pattern so we make sure we get it right every time side by side for you. We're going to be using a digital lux meter. This digital lux meter is going to measure the lux, the actual usable brightness at a certain point in space. We're not gonna use lumens. Lumens is irrelevant in this test. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna shine these against the wall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this camera, put it right here behind the table, shine it at the wall and see which one's best. All right, we're 25 feet from the wall. I got the digital lux meter in my hand. It's set to maximum so we can find the max brightness. Let's go ahead and turn on that Morimoto 4 banger first. All right, what I'm gonna essentially do is paint the wall. The reason I'm painting the wall is to find the actual usable brightness at a certain point. The cool thing about this four banger is that it actually is the same brightness all the way from left to right. So it doesn't have like specific hot spots like the SS3 you're gonna see pretty soon. So here we go, measuring the wall. Another thing to note is that this fog light has only been on for about 15 seconds now. It was absolutely cold before we started it up and it comes in at about 720 maximum lux. Let's go ahead and try out that SS3 from Dial Dynamics. All right, I got my digital lux meter. Got the Dial Dynamics SS3, 25 feet from the wall. Let's turn it on. All right. Start measuring right away. I'm seeing more of a hot spot in the middle and two on each side. It looks wider to me from this angle. All right, enough painting. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, these ones are coming at 490 maximum lux. So the Morimoto 4 Banger is much brighter in the white wide beam pattern. Another thing just by looking at this uh, light output here is that it literally stops right here. We have this line right here that shows the top of the beam pattern 
and right here it just cuts off, which is not a bad thing. Right about where the SS3 stops, the Morimoto then has another extra bit of light going all the way down that slowly gets dimmer. Both of these options are actually a really good option when it comes to driving beam patterns from a pod light. Another thing to note is that when I turned the Diodynamics SS3 pod light on, it only was running for about 15 seconds when I measured the Lux. So the Lux should be very comparable between the four banger and the SS3. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave these on for about 10 minutes. We're gonna see which one gets hotter and which one's better at melting snow. After this not so scientific testing, we left these pods on for about 10 minutes. Diode dynamics came in at about 165 degrees to 194, depending on where you're reading the numbers from. The Morimoto pod came in at about 162 to 195. The moral of this short test is that they both come in at about the same temperature after operating for about 10 minutes. So either one of these are gonna melt the snow and ice just fine when you're going down those trails. Once you leave these pod lights on for more than an hour, they're gonna be a lot less bright than they used to be. That's so that the chips don't burn out. After exactly one hour of both of these pod lights being on, facing 25 feet from the wall, the four banger came in at 400 maximum lux, whereas the SS3 still came in at 350 maximum lux. So whether it's been on for 15 seconds or one hour, the Morimoto four banger is brighter. Here's another really cool shot. As you can see here, the four banger is now stacked on top of the SS3. Four banger is on top. The SS3 is down at the bottom. When we had this light output, we made sure that both of these are the exact same. The light output is moving parallel to the floor. So in this case, the Morimoto is stacked on a higher pedestal facing at the wall so that we're still getting that light output completely flat against the wall. No aiming up or down. Both pod lights are completely parallel to the floor. Let's switch them for fun. Down at the bottom now, you can see the four banger. Up at the top, you see the SS3. Here's that same shot with just the four banger on. Here's that same shot with just the Dow Dynamics on. Here's a shot split in half where the Morimoto four banger is on the left side, and then you can see the SS3 hanging out on the right side. Here's another shot where the Morimoto four banger is on the right side, and the SS3 is on the left side. You can definitely tell the difference in height on all of these beam patterns, four banger being taller than the SS3, and you can also tell that the width is different as well. Here's a light I'll put shot at about 15 feet from the wall to show you the difference in width. Now what about the color? These are the exact same chips. Both of them are using the OSRAM chip on the inside. Morimoto only has three chips and SS3 has four chips. Honestly, the reason the four banger is brighter than the SS3 is due to the design of the TIR optic. What I see right in front of me now is that the four banger is actually a little more blue in color. Honestly, they're so close it's hard to tell. So, which light output from these LED pods was the best. The Diodynamics SS3 had that super tight and wide beam pattern, whereas the Morimoto 4 banger with the light output that's a little bit more tall, almost as wide, but more bright. Which one do you like better? Post that in the comments below. Which one do I think is better? Probably the Morimoto 4 banger. One, because the compact design. I think it looks better than that of its competitors. The Diodynamics SS3 looks a lot like the KC highlights or the Baja designs. The four banger that uses three chips is more compact and just looks better in my opinion. It also fits into vehicles. Say you had a 17 Raptor and you wanted to put three of these in the fog light area. What you want is that OEM look. Just because you have a bunch of off-road lights on your truck doesn't mean it has to look ugly. That's why I like the compact design. It just looks better on the truck. It looks like it was meant to be. This is still a great option. I'm not gonna tell you which one is best. I want you to tell me in the comments below. Also, go to headlightrevolution.com, type in your year, make, and model, and we'll show you everything we have to offer for your truck.